The solar farm in a 200 megawatt in Fannabail is sort of our first step uh, on the energy part of the decarbonization. Um, uh, it's a project that we've, I mean, out on tender. So we receive tenders back, we're busy with adjudication. And I think subject to ESCOM's approval processes, uh, we will start construction of that. And uh, it will reduce AMSA's overall electricity consumption by around 23%, from about, about 40% on a standalone basis. So quite a, a reasonable big impact on our energy cost, especially and also dependency on, on, uh, on ESCOM. And then after that, we've got various other PPA arrangements or that we plan to, as well as some internal uh, electricity generation from uh, gas, steam uh, that we generate on site. I think we will most probably start construction at the latter part of the year, if not early f next year, um, depending on, on, on the delays in the approval process. Um, Coming to your question around the electric arc furnace, I think we've got two blast furnaces in Vanabel Park. Um, we've decided to convert one to an electric arc furnace, which will be fed by six DRI kilns, which we have. We will just refurbish uh, three of them. Uh, the others is operational. Uh, so that will be the initial feed with scrap as well as some pool iron coming from the existing blast furnace, because at the time, once you start a 1.7 million ton electric arc furnace, there will not be enough scrap in South Africa. So you'll have to produce an alternative FE uh, to feed that. So uh, that is in, in up to the 2030, 25% reduction target of CO2, one of the, the biggest impact items uh, within our strategy. So 2028 is uh, commissioning. So uh, we're out on tender. We've decided on the technology. And I mean, that's quite a few years of planning and uh, execution. I think ultimately your decarbonization uh, needs to be commercially viable and sustainable. Um, given that you have to also be relative equal or comparable to your international peers. Now, typically in Europe, they've got massive grants from government to support the capital expenditure. Um, and then there's a, a, a tax-friendly regime in terms of to the extent that you decarbonize, you get the benefits. And then there's a border protection from uh, countries that don't decarbonize. So, so I think we're asking for roughly the same, that the carbon tax regime be developed that you get penalized only if you allowed enough time to decarbonize. Otherwise, you have to pay a penalty and you have to do a capital investment, um, and which we assume we will not have the same capital support as European and the US companies and others. So uh, we need at least a form of uh, uh, tax protection that we can have enough cash generation to actually fund our investments ourselves. And then secondly, if uh, the rest of the world put in border uh, tax, uh, we need the same to protect us against other countries that doesn't uh, do the same investment and decarbonization.